first thing we're going to do here, we're going to learn defenses. We're going to learn the defensive fronts, the techniques, uh, how we call them, how we recognize defenses, and that sort. To me, there's three types of fronts. You're, you're going to see three types of fronts, and they're going to vary in some form, but they're mainly, you're going to see a 40 front, you're going to see a 50 front, you're going to see a 60 front. 50 and 60 are cousins. They're kind of related to each other. They're, they're, there's some similarities. The 40 has some variations. You can have a 4-3, a 44, but it's still in the 40 family. Those, those are the fronts we have. All right. Before we get into those three fronts, our defensive alignments. We got defensive alignments and techniques the defensive players. What we name our techniques is this. Anytime a player is head up on an offensive line, head up on the tight end, head up on the tackle, head up on the guard. We've got a two technique, a four technique, and a six technique. Those are the techniques that we we call for the guys that lined up. All right now, if the guy's on the inside shoulder of the guard, if he's on the inside shoulder of the guard, he's a one technique. If the guy's on the inside shoulder of the tackle, then basically he becomes a four eye, four inside. If the guy's on the inside shoulder of the tight end, then it's a seven technique. All right? So we've got a one, a four eye, and a seven on the inside shoulder. They work both ways. It goes both ways. You know, if I got a guy on the inside shoulder over here, again, I've got a one technique. If I've got a guy on the outside shoulder of the guard, then I've got a three technique. If I've got a guy head, uh, if I got a guy on the outside shoulder of the tackle, I've got a five technique. And if I've got a guy on the outside shoulder of the tight end, I've got a nine technique. So basically, you go one, head up is two, three. And we've got a four I, head up is four, and we've got a five, inside's a seven, head up is a eight, and I'm sorry, six, head up's a six, outside shoulders a nine, and then the guy out here off on the line of scrimmage is an eight technique. So we've got one, two, three, four I, four, five. And the tight end is a completely different animal. You got seven, six head up, nine outside. Those are the techniques that we like to talk in terms of. If you come out of the game, at least you'll be able to tell me what you got. For the center, if the guy's head up on the center, then he is in a zero technique. That's a zero technique, head up on the center. Then the center can have, if the tight end's here and the play's going this way, we can have a shade. Strong. All right. If we've got the center, say the tight end's lined up there again, but the play now is going this way, then we've got a shade weak. All right. So we've got zero shade strong, shade weak. Anytime a player lines up in the gap, then it's called a gap tech. Gap technique. So that kind of takes us through the alignments of the down linemen. These are down linemen only. All right, if we come over here and we get a linebacker, I right, say we've got that tackles in a five, nose is in a zero, and the linebacker's lined up on the outside shoulder of the guard. That puts him in a three technique and he's off the ball, so basically for terminology, he's in a 30 technique. If this nose guard would be shaded that way, this linebacker was lined up on the inside of that guard, and we had a four eye back here and the backer on. We had it all shifted shades to the strong side. Had a nine technique here, a five. Got a nine, a five, a 30. We've got a shade strong. And then this linebacker here now would be in a one, so he'd be in a 10 technique on that. We've got a four eye. Then we got a ghost back. So that's, for terminology, that's how we, 
we talked about. So the backers line head up on you, then he'd be in a 20 technique. All right. So that kind of gives you an idea how we call our terminology, how we call those defenses, how we recognize what defensive fronts we have and what they're going with. All right, now, now that we've got that covered, let's go back to the fronts. How do you recognize your fronts? All right. On a 40 front, we'll go tight in here. Anytime I've got two down linemen, it could be a three, a two, one, whatever. Down lineman and a back. That is a 40 front. That equals a 40 front. All right, so I've got a 40 here. If I've got a one technique back here, I've got another down lineman and a back. So I split the defense down the middle. I find the tight end or the strength side first. I've got a 40 look over here. I've got a 40 look over here. So basically, I've got a 44 defense. I got a 44 defense. This will make more sense to you later on when we start rolling into different fronts. It could be just the opposite. I could have the tight end over here. I could have a seven. I could have the one technique over here. I could have the three technique here with the backer on the inside boom. I still have a 40 front here. I have a 40 front here. So I've got a 44 defense. All right. And the, the inside guys over here, I call this a 44 over. When they're shifted over that way, I call it a 44 under. Under when they're shifted this way. One to three the weak side's an under, three, and as you think, over. All right, over and under. All right, now, you can have different forms of the 40 front. You can come up here, and you can have this, this, all right, this, here, and now if you take and you put the Mike Backer in there, you've headed into the stack family, which we'll cover that in just a minute. But now, you basically split the front. You still got two down linemen with a linebacker. You got two down linemen with a linebacker, only they stuck the mic in the middle. So now I got a 4-3 defense, which is a 4-3 stack. We'll get into the stack family here a little bit later on. But that's, that's, how that, that's a cousin to this guy right here. All right, so don't think about the stack right now. I'm just trying to show you how it falls in and how it works and plays this game with it. All right, so we're sitting here. We've got the 44 front, 44 over, 44 under. We could have a 44 heads. When we say heads, that means we've got two two techniques. They're laying them in there in two two techniques. They're stacking them up right here, playing it a little bit tighter. Strong safeties here, weak safeties off the back side. They play them head up, and they either slant them or angle them. Slant strong, slant to the strong side, angle to the weak side. All right, so we slant strong, we angle weak. Slant, angle. Slant strong, angle weak. So you got over, you got under, you got heads, what we call heads. And you can have them inside. We see this a lot in the four wides. If we're sitting there four wides, we'll see this a lot with two one techniques, ends, backers, backers, backers. Got a 44. Split it down the middle, 44, inside. Inside means they're both inside. Obviously, if that's inside, then if we had the 44 and both guys were lined up in three techniques, split it, then we'd have a 44 outside. So 
and just let you know where those techniques are lined up on the defensive line. 44 inside, 44 outside, 44 heads, 44 under, 44 over. All right? That's on the, that's on the 44 front, the even front. We call it even front. All right? All right, now let's go to the Oki front. The Oki front, which is your 50 defense. It's in your 50 package, all right? Oki's for Oklahoma. It's used, it started back in the Oklahoma days of Bud Wilkerson, back in those old glory days ahead. So basically, when you're talking about this, we'll go tight in left sometimes for some of you guys. Let's just say I've got a backer. I've got a five and a nine. I've got a backer, a zero nose. That is an oaky front. An oaky front consists of the guard being uncovered. The guard is uncovered. I can have a shaded nose guard there. I can have whatever I want. But the guard is uncovered. I've got a five. I've got a nine. I've got a 30 backer with a shaded nose strong. That is still an oaky look when you split it right down the middle. On this side, I've got a 50 look. I've got a five look right here. I've got a 50 look. Okay? So on the back side, on the weak side of the way, I've got a backer. I've got an end and a backer. So over here, I split it. I've got guard uncovered. Over here, i got guard uncovered. So I've got a 50. Over here, i got a 50. So now I've got a 55 defense. All right, I've got a 55 defense. Same way, I could have a four eye back side. I could have it snug down real tight and that guy's in a four eye. But if that guard's still uncovered and you split it, even though it's a 55 over, all right, if it's a 55 under, a 55 under, then I still got a 55 front. All right. Still got a 55 front. All right. With it shaded here, shaded to the tight end, it's a 55 for under. All right. If I go here and shade the nose guard weak, put the five back here. Boom. I've got the four eye, the backer, and the back. Guards uncovered, guards uncovered. Now I still got, I split it down the middle. I got a 50, I got a 50, I got a 55 over. All right, I got a 55 over. All right. This will all make sense to you later on when we get into the combinations of the 50s and the 40s together. All right. I come up here the same theory. I've got two tackles head up, zero nose, two tackles head up, backers, 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 backers. I've got basically, I've got three down line. That's the difference between the Oki and the even. On the even, I've got four down line. Four down line. Defense, four down line. Two to three linebackers. All right. In the Oki front, I've got three down line. I've got three down linemen, and I've got four linebackers. Or unless we're playing an odd stack, and I've got three linebackers. But I've got four to three linebackers. Okay, so here, if I split it again, I've got the guard uncovered, the guard uncovered, I've got a 55 heads. All right, if I come down here, and I put the backer here, and I put this guy on the inside, zero nose, put him on the inside, put that, they're cheating it to a bear look almost, but still the guard's uncovered, the guard's uncovered, I split it down the middle, I got a 55 inside. I got a 55.
five inside. If I come over here and draw it up, I got him and a 50 and a five. I got him 50 and a five. Just for terminology, we don't really call it that way too much, just talking verbally. But theoretically, if I split it down the middle, guards uncovered, guards uncovered, I got a 55 outside. So it ties in the same as with your even. These two inside guys are head up. These two tackles are head up. We got 55 heads. We got 44 heads right here. We got 44 heads. We got 55 heads. These guys are inside. We got 44 inside. Right here, over here, we got 55 inside. We got two three techniques here. We got 44 outside. We got two five techniques. We got 55 outside. So it kind of falls in and stays the same way with the terminology. Okay? Falls in the same way with the terminology. If we get up here and we're head up, we're head up, and we slant the line to the tight end. Then it's 55 slant. All right, if we have them here like this on the inside for some reason, they bring them back out this way to the weak side, then we'd have angle. We'd have 55 angle, all right? So we still slant strong, angle weak. Slant strong, angle weak. Same way over here, ties in all the same. Okay? So that's your basic, your four down linemen, your three down linemen, your even front and your open front. All right, let's go back here now and tie this in a little bit. With the 60. Now you got a 60 front. All right. A 60 front. Well, what does a 60 front mean? It means I've got three offensive linemen covered. Back in high school, when you got down to the goal line. Team came in and they got two tights in the goal line. And y'all went with a one technique, a five technique, a backer. That is a 60 front right there. That's three down linemen on three offensive linemen. Three down linemen covering three offensive linemen, and most of the time you had a linebacker right there. So over here, I've, I split it. I've got a 60. If I've got the same look back here, all three of the down line are covered, boom. Then in our theory, we got a 66 defense. In our terminology, we got a 66 defense. Some people, your high school coach called it, I called it, I still call it a 6-2. It's a 6-2. Six, six down line and two linebackers. It's a 6-2. You got a 44. Here, a lot of people in the pro ball. Pro ball calls this thing right here a 3-4. That's a 3 4 pro ball. All right? We'll get into naming these linebackers later on and stuff. That's not that important right now. I just want you to learn the thing about 40, 50, 60, how these fronts and how you recognize them. All right? So now we've got a 66 defense here. All right? However you cut it, they can do the same thing. Now that would be basically a 66 inside. All right, judging these two guys here. All right. If I moved him here and him here, and we were considering this the strength, we were considering this the strength, and that'd be a 66 under. That'd be an under front, because the one technique is over here like the shade, all right? If we had it just the opposite, in here and you had the three technique and you had the 66 over 
over means the three technique is to the tight end side. You've got a three technique and either a shade or whatever that. Now I'll get into the, the combinations here in a little bit. All right. If these two guys are head up and you've got a five and a nine, then you've got a 66 heads. All right, just like you had it over there. And then, if we've got these two guys, both of them are outside, and they're playing threes on both sides. We got a 66 outside. So it all kind of has a little continuity there. It all kind of ties in for you a little bit to where you understand the 60, when you've got a 5 and a 9 and a backer, this is a very distant cousin. These two are cousins. They're from West Virginia, where I'm from. The fuckers are related to each other, alright? They're from West Virginia. They're, they're related. you got cousins. Because if I took this nose guard, who's in that one technique right there, and moved him over on that center, and drew that line now, down that middle of that center, guards uncovered, we would have a 50 defense there. But we didn't. We have him over there on the guard, so now it's a 60, 6 defense. All right? Now we're going to get into some combinations here, how this thing works and how it goes together. Okay? Alright. Anytime you have a combination of a 60 or a 50 and there's a 4 involved in it, anytime you have a 54 or a 64, or anything like that, anytime there's a four involved in it, you're dealing with four down linemen. For example, if I draw a tight end up here, and I put a shaded nose, and I put a five technique, a backer, and a back, and this is strength over here. This is a strength. So I split it, guards uncovered, I've got some form of 50 defense. But back here, they brought this guy down to a three technique, put him on the line of scrimmage, and I got a back. Okay, we came back. We went back to the 40 front. We said the 40 front was this. We said here, here, two down linemen with a linebacker. That was a 44 defense when I split. That was a 44 defense. All right, now, I've got a front side, I've got a 50. Back here, I've got a 40. I've got a 50 here because the guard's uncovered. i got two down linemen and a linebacker, so I've got a 40. So basically, I've got a 54 defense. I've got a 54 defense, which we call under. That is an under defense. Very basic defense. All right? We've got a 54 front. Now, just as easy as we got a 54 front, we can take this thing and go with a 5, go with a 9, and go with a back. Same as what we got here. Just looks exactly the same. I'll go with the 40 look back here. Just the same. We'll dot it down the middle. Now, I take this same nose guard and slide it over here on the guard. I take that same nose guard that was in the 50, and the 50 and slide him over. Now, that made that a 60. So now, instead of having a 54 defense, I've got a 64 defense. Because I've got three down linemen covered on the offensive line. So I've got a 60 defense. 
I got a 64 defense, which some people call it under G. It's called an under G because he went over on the guard. It's an under front with a nose guard on a G. How this whole thing came about, a little quick story here. How the whole thing came about. Jimmy Johnson, who y'all see on TV all the time, doing the NFL channel on Sunday, he's got the hair spray and all that, his hair all just, he used to be the head coach of Dallas Cowboy and Miami Dolphins. He was at Arkansas, and they ran a 50 defense. They ran what they called the Arkansas 50 slant and angle. They slanted them, and they angled them. They had quick guys, little quick guys, and they slanted and angled and did a well, Jimmy would look at it one day, you know, he said, we're slanting here, boom, boom, boom. Well, instead of slanting them there, I think I'm just going to take, and I'm going to line them up there. I'm going to line him up in that five. Instead of slanting him into that gap, I'm just going to line him up on a shade in that gap. Instead of slanting him down to that gap, I'm just going to line him up down there in that gap. I'm going to leave that backer there. It started out as a backer. It started out as a three down line. Now, if that backer's standing up, they're getting to an under, which was an under front. They're getting to that under. They got to it from the oaky front. If I go to it from a 50, if I go to it from a 50, then I'm doing it with three, four people. All right? Now, over here, we're not doing it with three, four people. We're doing it with four down linemen. We're doing it with four big guys. So now we got really Sam, Mike, and Will. We're doing it like the pros do. This is based off of a four-three scheme. Four down linemen, three linebackers. All right? Four down linemen, three linebackers. Okay? Here, we're doing it off of three down linemen and four linebackers. All right, so we'd have Sam, Mick, Mike, and Will. All right, when you got three backers, when you got three backers, you've got Sam, Mike, and Will. When you got three linebackers, you got Sam, you got Mike, who's in the middle, Sam Strong, and Will is weak. Okay, when you got four linebackers. You got Sam, you got Will, but basically you got two middle linebackers. You got two mics. You got two mics. I always keep Mike weak. Always keep Mike weak in an open, all right? And go with Mick on the front side. So I got two mics, two mics middle. If you'll hear our quarterback come up here sometimes, say two mics middle. We're in the open front. All right, he's declaring the offensive line's got the two mics in the middle. We'll get into all that shit later. Just, just learn what's going on right now, defense. All right. So you've got two mics. Boom. So if I went to this under front with Oki people, I'd still have the same kind of fun. You know. But we don't, we don't this, this here doesn't ever, hardly ever happen, ever. Anymore, that that does not happen. If there, there's so much substitution going on, if they're going four, three down linemen, then they're going to be four linebackers, or may even be DBs, but they'll be four linebackers. This is what we'll see. We'll see four down linemen, all right, in the 54 front, which is an under defense or your under G with three linebackers. Again, Sam, Mike, and Will. All right, Sam, Mike, and Will. Okay? All right, so that kind of gives us that look. Now, it goes back the other way. You can go back the other way with it. We can come out here. We can line up the tight end here. All right, and we can go with him in a three. Him there. Nose is shaded weak. The nose is shaded weak. We got an end. Again, we still got four down line. But I'm going to split the thing down the middle. I'm going to come over here and find my strength, which is a tight end.
Then I got a three technique. So anytime that guard's covered, I know it can't be an okey. It's not an okey front if that guard's covered. So I got two down linemen and there's a linebacker. So that has to be a 40 front. Now I come over here to the split side, the weak side. The guard's uncovered. Guard's uncovered, it's got to be some kind of 50 defense. So now I'm sitting here and when I find it, I end up, I've got a 45 defense when I find my strength. So if we're running a run and play over here, we're going to block this like a 40. If we're running a run and play over here, we're going to block it like a 50. So if that other was an under, then this is an over front. This is an over front. The, the, the cousin to it, what we just had up there was the backer, him, the nose, backer, the 40 front was backside, which was the 54 defense, which was the under. It's an under front. So we got an under and an over. We got an under and an over. We still got three backers. Here, now we got Sam here. We got Mike who's always weak in an even front. And we got Will. This is this is a three deep three linebacker defense, but we're in an even if I took that nose guard and moved him over, we'd be in a pure even front. We'd be in an even defense. But he slid over there, so we're in an over. We're in an over defense. Alright now. We still got Sam. Got Mike, who's strong now, and Will. All right. So we still got three linebackers, four down line. We got an over defense and an under defense. All right. If I take this one right here up to top, and I move this nose guard off of that center, and move him on to that down lineman, and that linebacker is on the line of scrimmage. Boom. Now I've basically got a 46 defense. I've got a 46 defense because we got a 60 look over here. We've got a 60 look over here. If I put him back over there on it with the guard uncovered, I'm back to a 45 front. All right. I've got a 45 front. Here, here it comes. Move him over there, 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 there. And now I've got a 46 defense. Which is still an over. It's still an over front. Alright, it's still an over front. But it's G weak. Over front G weak. It means the guard's covered weak. how we recognize our defensive front. Alright? So you can have a 45, a 46, a 54, a 64. Alright? That's the combination you can have. Alright? You got over, under. Alright? So here, here's what we're going to learn to block. Alright? We're going to block an over front which is a 45. We're going to block an under front. Which is a 54. Alright. We got Sam. Mike. And Will. We're going to block an even front. always weak and then even or an open. And then Will will be out of here. Oh, so I have a strong safety sitting out here. So now you got an even front. You got an even. You got an under. You got an over. And then you've got an oaky. But you really have Sam.
Wore down lineman. Over. Wore down lineman. Three linebackers. Under. Four down linemen. Three linebackers. Even. Four down linemen. Three linebackers. Oki. Three down linemen. Four linebackers. Alright. So that's our basic four fronts that we're going to get to and how we got to them and what they're all about. Alright, now. Last thing we're going to kind of learn here on this in this session is the stack family. We want to tie the stack family into all of this. The stack family. When we hear stack, when you hear stack, you know you've got some form of middle linebacker. There's some form of middle linebacker. So here's your stack family. If I just put the down lineman in, if I put one there, I put one there, I put one there, and one there. I, I know I've got some kind of over front, so they've got the three technique to the strength. We'll call the tight end the strength right now. I've got a three technique to the strength, so I've got an over defense. All right. I've got four down line, but I heard stack. Whenever they told me what it was, it was stack. When I hear stack, I know I've got a middle linebacker. I know I've got a middle linebacker. Well, I heard the word stack. So if there's four down linemen, there has to be three linebackers. Four down linemen, three linebackers. Well, the mic is in the middle. So then I've got Sam here, and I've got Will here. So now I've got a basically a 4-3 stack. I've got a 4-3 stack defense. Okay? All right, now, on the same term, just so you know how we're recognizing, I still got that right there. I still got an over front. All right? But now back here, they shaded that nose guard over on that center when we came here. Strength is still to the right. So if I don't know anything, I've got an over, but I've got a guard uncovered. So really, I've got a 45-something. I've got a 45-something. Well, I heard the word stack. I heard stack. When I heard the word stack, I know they got a middle linebacker. So if that's a middle linebacker, there's the Sam and there's the Will. I've got a 45 stack. Okay. Here's the defense we ran it over. This was our base defense. We had a down lineman. We had a shade on the center weak. But we had a four eye. We had that guy a four eye. Then we had a nine technique. So I got guard uncovered, guard uncovered. So I know I've got some kind of 55 going on here. But I heard the word stack. When I heard the word stack, it told me I had a middle linebacker. So now I've got Sam and I've got Will, so I've got a 55 stack. That's how we got to our 55 stack defense. All right? So you can have a 4-3 stack. You can have a 45 stack. You can have a 55 stack. Now there's a lot of variations with the stack defense, how it works out and how they do some things. All right? Just for example, all right, the pro, here's the old pro 4-3, all right, put the Sam here, move the end down there, move the tackle down here, add the one technique, and the wheel, all right, 4-3 stack, 4-3 stack, Sam on, Sam's on line, boom, boom, boom. Or, in our terminology, you got three down linemen covered. You got three down linemen covered. I know that's some form of 60. So I got a 60, four stack. 60, 40, 
64 stack metal back. I got 64 stack. Now I'll just call four three stack same on, but for our term for 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 knowing the system, how the system goes, you got a 64 stack. Alright? If they did that stack and moved this nose guard over here in the shade, right there. Now you split it down the middle. I've got a 60. Guards uncovered. I got some kind of 65. 65 stack. And that's how it all kind of ties in. Alright? You will see a lot of this. We'll see a lot of this. We'll have uh, here, here, Sam, Mike, one technique in and will. It's our silver, we, what we call silver blitz. Sam and Will blitz. Alright. Basically, it's a 66 stack. Alright. Which is a silver blitz. Sam and Will. Alright. So now we've kind of got all that down. Alright, the last thing we want to learn in this session right here is that your gaps. You've got A gap, B gap, C gap, and D gap. That is strong. That is to the play side. That is strong. Now, if the play was coming over this way to the, uh, to the open end of the side, to the split end side, then that would be A gap, B gap, C gap. And then your D gap would be out here off that ghost tight end. Alright, backside is A weak, B weak, C weak, off the ghost tight end is D weak. Alright, so over here we have A weak, B weak, C weak, D weak. Alright. That's our, that's our system for the for for the hole where they can come. Alright. So, if we got a blitz, let's just go over here out of the, uh, out of the over, all right? Let's take this right there. I'll just leave it there. We'll go out of the over front, all right? And we'll say the strength's over here. So that's A gap, B gap, C gap, D gap. That's A weak, B weak, C weak, D weak. All right, and we're gonna run this. We're gonna run this stunt right here. We got uh, forty-five over, forty-five over. We're gonna loop that nose guard here. We're gonna blow that linebacker there. We're gonna blow that linebacker there. All right. So we got forty-five over. Which means we got four down line. We got forty-five over. Sam at A. Mike at AW. That would be the blitz. Sam at A, Mike at AW. Alright, so if I look at the scouting report and I'm a center of guard, when I see them A gap A gap blitzes, I know they're mine. I know them babies are affecting me. Alright, I know them babies are affecting me. Uh, we've got an under front. We got a 54, but we got an under front. We got a 54 under front. We're just gonna do this here. We're gonna slant him there and blow that backer off there. Alright? Again, A gap, B gap, C gap, D gap. A weak, B weak, C weak. Alright? If we do that, we have a 54 under, Mike at C. So if I'm attack. If I'm a tackle, A gap don't bother me if I'm a tackle. So when I look at the scouting report, I'm a tackle. I'm looking for C's and B's. I'm looking for C's and B's. All right? Right here. We've got this front right here. We've got an even front, 44 even. Now we're going to blow these two guys in here, and we're going to blow these two backers out here. So we got an even front. We've got a 44 even front. All right, we've got A gap. B gap, C gap, D gap, A weak, B weak, C weak, D weak. So we got four, we got Sam at B, 
Mike at BW. Alright, so both tackles have to know now, and guard, but both tackles know these are my blitzes. These are my blitzes. Alright, the biggie, the one we always get here. Running him there, him there, and bringing the mic around here. So we got A gap, B gap, C gap, D gap, A weak, B weak, C weak, D weak. Right, we got an Oki front. We got Mike at A. Mike at A. I mean Mick at A. M I C K Mick at A. Mike at B. All right. When I see Mike at A, I mean Mick at A. Mike at B. Then I know we got a strong side blitz. We got a strong side blitz because I got A and B gap. They're coming to the same side. If I had A, W, B, W, then I'd know it was a weak side blitz. And that's kind of how we do this thing here. All right, for you guys, it ties in with the secondary. All right? They may loop this nose guard out, blow that Mike linebacker there, and bring that free safety right through there. So I've got a 4-3 stack, Mike at A. Free safety at A, W. So I know they're getting to their middle blitz. They're getting to their middle blitz. They're probably going to drop that linebacker off to take that free safety's place in coverage and blow that free safety through the A-week gap. And that's how, we, that's how we determine. You had the stack, and all of a sudden they dropped a strong safety up on the line of scrimmage. All right. They dropped a strong safety up on the line of scrimmage. And for... Say the play was going this way. We got this the weak side. The play was going this way, and they slanted that, and they slanted that, and boom. All right, it'd probably be the weak safety. We call it weak safety at DW. Then I know if it's weak safety at DW, I know it's a weak side blitz, and I know what hole it's coming through, and I know who's coming through there. So that's how we pick up our terminology, and that's how we pick up our blitzes. So we need to get that down, we need to know that, we need to learn that, and we'll have